What's up y'all, Ruben Davis, Future Doc here. And in today's video, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be giving y'all some free resources that you can use to study for the MCAT. All right, but before we get into that, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get more content related to MCAT and med school. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, as many of you know or may not know, getting into med school is not only just hard, it's expensive. All right, the MCAT itself cost $330 to take and I took it three times. So, you know, <laughs> y'all know how my pockets was feeling after that. Um, but also just if you wanna take a course or anything like that, it can really rack up to thousands and thousands of dollars just to take an exam to be considered for the MCAT, right? So in this video, I thought it was it was good to give y'all some resources that are free that you can be using to help make this MCAT journey much more affordable and much less stressful. All right. And so without further ado, let's just get into number one. And number one is the best resource you can use out there that's completely free. And that's Khan Academy. All right. Khan Academy has hundreds of videos on every topic from cars, bio fizz, chem fizz, everything that you need for the MCAT. They have it. Not only that, they have practice passages for every topic and every subject that they teach on the website. You really can't beat the amount of information and content that you're gonna get from Khan Academy. Everything is there and it's sponsored by the AAMC. So you can't, you can't get any better than that. The AAMC is what's keeping this free for everyone. So it's definitely a resource that you wanna make sure that you're using, all right? Implementing it into your study schedule getting all of this content because content is one of the you know the biggest things on MCAT that a lot of people struggle with is making sure that you know all the things that you need to know and getting that practice in all right so Khan Academy the number one the biggest one that I recommend everybody use all right and it's free free 99 you can't beat that hello Bella can you I'm, I'm recording my video thank you thank you say hello say hello everybody to, to Bella yes all right all right all right, so next on my list of free resources, these actually come from some of the biggest MCAT course people out there. So Blueprint, which I actually use for my MCAT journey, Kaplan, as well as the Princeton Review. All of them have some free resources that you can use to get started and kind of implement into your studies, studying for the MCAT. And so first let's start with Blueprint. So Blueprint, they offer a free practice exam. So and their eyes is like kind of like a diagnostic to see where you are and then hopefully you know you take that course but you can go ahead and take that for free um they also have 1600 free flashcards that you can gain access to which is really good so it's another way for you to get that content that you need to pass the mcat um, they also have a free practice question of the day which i think is great because now I know my biggest thing is practice, practice, practice. You have to, in order to succeed on MCAT, you have to put in a lot of practice at answering these type of questions. They also have a free study planning uh, tool as well. So you can like answer some, a few questions and they'll help you create a study schedule for yourself so that you can be the most successful. And that's actually one of the biggest things that I liked about Blueprint when I took it was that you basically told them your schedule, you told them how many hours you wanted to study and they just put, they made a calendar for you, which was like really great. And I could just follow that every day and get the, get the knowledge that I do. It, helped, it really helped me be um, consistent. They also have a content checklist. And I think this one is a really underrated one because there's a lot of information you need to know. And the AAMC has a list as well, but it's very thick, very dense, and it can be pretty overwhelming. But their content list from Blueprint is you know, a little bit more concise and you can kind of go through it as you're making your schedule, um, your study schedule, and really check off the things like, okay, I need to know this. I need to spend more time on this. And I need to make sure I'm hitting all of these things. And am I hitting all the things that I need to know? for the MCAT, I think that's really important, especially if you're gonna be self-studying on your own. Uh, so that's another great tool as well, highly recommend that. So next, Kaplan. Kaplan also has a free uh, practice exam that you can take. They also have a study calendar sort of preview situation um, that you, tool that you can use as well. So they both Blueprint and Kaplan have a study calendar kind of tool. Um, but Kaplan has a QBank as well. This blueprint doesn't have a QBank, but Kaplan has a QBank of 230 questions that you can use. Um, looking at my list here. And they also have some quizzes uh, from each of the four sections. So you can take a sort of learning module quiz, with probably, you know, 
maybe 10 to 20 questions, I'm not sure. Um, but for each section that you can take, and I think this is great because this is just practice. You need all the practice you can get in here, some free, free practice that you can get. Uh, Princeton also has a free diagnostic test as well. So I'm just trying to make sure I'm not getting out false information. Yeah, right. So they have a full length free practice test that you can go ahead and take as well. And they also have a 10 question assessment quiz. Uh, but Kaplan also has a full, like you can take their biology course for free. Now, granted, most of us aren't struggling with biology. A lot of us are biology majors, but some of us may have come from gym and decided to do this. So that could be a really great tool right there. So uh, just their full course, their full biology course, you can just go ahead and take that for free. And even if you feel like you're not struggling with it, I recommend you just go ahead and do that because it's free, why not use it? Why not use all the free stuff that you can? So go ahead and do that. And just with that alone, just those three, you have three full length practice exams, right? So within a three week period, you can study and on Saturdays, every, you know, study for Sunday through Friday. And then on Saturday, you're taking a full length. Then the next week, do the same thing. And I don't know if you can go back and review these exams. I would think so. I haven't gone through it fully myself. I'm gonna go, go through it at one of these points and really see if you can do that. But hopefully you can go back and through it and hopefully maybe you can just take it again. And even if they don't let you take it again with your email, just make another email or something. And then just go take that exact same exam again because one, you're probably not gonna remember these questions anyway because they're so long and you know there's so many of them. And if even if you do remember the question, you still need to remember how to solve it. So I recommend even if you if you have access to a limited amount of exams, just keep taking those same exams over and over and over again because it's still worth it. So even with just these, these free resources, you have three full-length practice exams. And going into my next one, the WMC also has a free practice exam, diagnostic exam you could take as well. So that's four full length practice exams right there that you can take, which is huge. Kaplan also has the quick sheets, which has a bunch of equations um, and different things on there that are really just sort of quick knowledge that you can reference and some, some things that you kind of want to know. Some of them probably you don't necessarily need to commit to memory, uh, but some of them you might want to certain equations and things like that. Um, but that's just a really great reference tool right there as you're studying and trying to build up some things. That's a quick reference that you can just immediately have right there as well. All right, next on my list is Anki. Okay, Anki is a flashcard app that you can use on your phone, on your computer, on your iPad, all those different things. And you can just make flashcards. You can make, you know, regular, like, you know, how you would do in on your hand, like front to back. You can do clothes. You can do image occlusion. Just a bunch of different tools that you can use with that very customizable digital flashcards. But the biggest thing with Anki is, is that people make their own decks and they put them online, usually Reddit. So if you go on Reddit right now and just look up like MCAT, um, Anki decks, like you'll probably find the most. The most popular for the MCAT, I believe, is the Miles Down deck, which has like everything you would need to know for the MCAT on there. And that's a 100% free content right there, and just a great tool that you can use very to, to, to really lock in knowledge right there. Flashcards is a great way to recall knowledge and to really reinforce what you're learning in conference. So I think Anki, I highly recommend Anki for the MCAT. A lot of people even still use Anki in med school. I try to use it sometimes, but I just get really bored using flashcards. But I highly recommend it for the MCAT at least um, because you know you just there's so much information that you need for just this one exam. I think it's just a great tool that you can use to reinforce um, some of the things you might learn using some of these other free resources or even some of the paid resources that you might be using. And last but not least, YouTube University. Like. It, it doesn't get more free than that. <laughs> We're all students of YouTube for something, whether it's how to change a tire, whether it's how to make cook this meal or how to do this thing. There are lots of free videos and free content on, like this video, for example, on MCAT, how to, how to study, how to prepare, how to do all these different things. And of course, for all of these things, link is down below in the description so that you can get this. But YouTube, there's just, so many free videos out there like on any topic that you want to know let's say you take one of these free practice exams and you're able to review it and you review it and you see you know a subject on acids and bases or something you've messed up that consistently you can go on youtube search up a video about acids and bases you can go to khan academy search about acids and bases and the whole point of this is this video is to try to provide you with resources so that you can self-study using free resources in an affordable manner because 
you know, this stuff gets pricey. It gets really pricey out here. And, you know, everybody can't afford all these things. So I wanted to bring out this video and to highlight some resources. So hopefully, you know, lower the barrier of people being successful passing the cap. So um, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any free resources that you know of, that you use, definitely leave a link or something below in the comment section so that everybody can be able to use that link. If you have an Anki deck or whatever, whatever it is, comment that down below so we can share with the community and we can all grow and we can all get better. Appreciate you for watching. Future Dog out.